Well, to understand how fermented foods will benefit you, let us understand what is fermentation. So in simpler terms, fermentation is a process that involves the breakdown of carbohydrates by microorganisms like bacteria and yeast. This process further enhances the nutritional value of foods and produces beneficial compounds such as probiotics, which are live microorganisms that offer health benefits when consumed. Now you might be thinking, fermented? Isn't that what happens to that forgotten carton of milk in the back of the fridge? Well, kind of. But instead of funky science experiments gone wrong, fermentation is a controlled process where good bacteria and yeast munch on the sugars and starches in food. Now, the consumption of fermented foods and their effects on gut health is vast. They help with improved digestion, balancing gut microbiota, enhancing immune function, lactose digestion, and reduced inflammation. So if you are someone with a weak stomach or someone whose digestion is always a roller coaster, believe me here and start including any one of the following fermented foods in your diet. You will be amazed by the magic it will create for you and your stomach. But keep in mind, not all fermented food will provide the same benefits, but most of them are beneficial for our gut health. Hence, you can include any one of them as per your convenience and taste. On number one, we have yogurt. Yogurt is made by fermenting milk with specific strains of bacteria, such as lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. These bacteria can help promote a healthy balance of gut flora, which in turn supports digestion. Indians have been using buttermilk and curds for many thousands of years. These have no sugar or salt content in them and are made from cow's milk, which is fermented using homemade culture. This forms the last part of the diet because it provides an additional dose of the required good bacteria, replenishes any bacteria that might have been destroyed during the meal, and most importantly, the sour taste that soaks the gums and teeth provides a lack of environment for bacteria in the mouth to multiply. On number two, we have kefir. Kefir is a fermented milk drink that is like yogurt, but contains a broader range of beneficial bacteria and yeasts. It is known to be rich in probiotics and may have even greater potential for improving gut health. On number three, we have sauerkraut. Sauerkraut is fermented cabbage and is a traditional food in many cultures. It is high in fiber, vitamin C and K, and contains beneficial lactic acid bacteria that support gut health. On number four, we have Korean Darling Kimchi. Kimchi is a Korean fermented vegetable dish, typically made with cabbage, radishes, and various seasonings. It is rich in vitamins, minerals, and beneficial bacteria that can contribute to a healthy gut. So, if you want that glow and leaner look, make some Korean friends, they will happily gift you a container of kimchi. You can also buy them from the nearest Asian grocery store. However, store-bought kimchi pickles will not have this effect because they don't contain live cultures. The process of pasteurizing them to make them long-term shelf-stable kills the yeast and destroys the enzyme. But don't be sad. If you don't get your hand on kimchi, maybe buy some organic ingredients from the market and make your own kimchi pickle at home. You will have many videos on YouTube to check out. Just go with the one which is easy for you. Now on number five, we have kombucha. Kombucha is a fermented tea beverage made by fermenting sweetened black or green tea with a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast, SCOBY. It is a source of probiotics and may have other health benefits, although more research is needed. On number six, we have miso. Miso is a traditional Japanese seasoning made by fermenting soybeans with koji, a type of fungus, salt, and sometimes grains. It is rich in probiotics and can be used in soups, dressings, and marinades. Keep in mind that if you're new to fermented foods, you might not be familiar with the taste and smell. So first, make sure your body and mind register the smell and taste of it. Start with half a cup per day and build up from there. If you are trying, pickles start incorporating one tablespoon with lunch. 
It's important to note that individual responses to fermented foods may vary, and some people may experience digestive discomfort or intolerances. If you have specific health concerns or conditions, it's always best to consult with a healthcare professional before making significant changes to your diet. Until next time, take care and have some kimchi.